Hey everybody, I am in the middle of making something inspired by this class just as a low fidelity I got kind of inspired today and I thought I would record my screen and my camera and I'm going to be working out loud and so what I mean by that is I'm going to try to stream out my consciousness as I am going going through this uh, giving you all an idea of what what it is that I'm going to do so um, I'm really interested in building out a scenario it's gonna be really low fidelity I don't know if I'll finish it today but I will just kind of walk you through my process and what I'm thinking of. So there's a game that I've played uh, several times that I really enjoy and it's called the Uber game. And so we'll go ahead and I want to show you my inspiration here. And so essentially it's a game that is kind of like a, well it's definitely a scenario, but it's also based on real life interviews with Uber drivers. And so essentially you're going to see if you can make it in this particular industry. So as you can see the this kind of graphic fill, um, if you're not familiar with this term, it's called isometric. And it's basically meaning that they have this 3D, 3D quality to it. I actually really like the look of this. And as you can see, I have a, a status bar up here. So I have an amount of money. I have a time element. And then I have the stars. And the stars, of course, are the rating of me as, as the Uber driver. I'm getting a little bit of information down here. So I got two kids at home, thousand dollar mortgage payment due in a week. Woof! It'd be nice to just have a thousand dollar mortgage payment as expensive as houses are nowadays. But can I earn enough to pay the bill and make more than other players? So I'm going to hit yes. And then I live in San Francisco and have good credit. So it's cheaper to rent a car on easy. And I have bad credit and I can't afford to live in San Francisco instead I live two hours away in Sacramento. Well, it is the weekend, so let's go easy on me. I'm gonna do easier to start, okay? All right, so as you can see, really simple, right? It, it takes me to this. I can go through it. I can see the the style of everything and then I get the little, little prompt here. I would like the option for audio here. So when I build my version, I will get audio in there somehow. So uh, you start bright and early on Monday morning, you get a ride request from Chris, you get the pickup point, you don't see anyone, what do you do? So do I call or wait? So I just got here. I, I got things to do. I'm going to give him a call. All right. He answers. He says, I'll be right there coming right out. Uh, hurry up, will you, or take your time? I believe in being polite. Let's take our time. All right, here he comes. Uh, he's flustered. That's that is not good. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Are you Chris? So as you see there, I, I had to go. So that particular part of that that is what's called like an anchor. So essentially, I had the choice, right, if I wanted to be polite or rude, and then regardless of what it is, like he comes out, and so everybody kind of goes through that that decision point, and then um, you know he said, oh, he's sorry. So he apologized to me. That likely wouldn't have happened if I was if I was rude. So I don't know whether to drive or strike up a conversation. I'm feeling chatty today. Let's strike up a conversation. All right. Sweet. Okay. He's going camping. Good stuff. Let me drop him off here. Um, okay. So I was, I was, uh, nice to him. Let's see what it is. Oh, nice. So I got my first ride. Hit continue. Okay. So I have $16. It's about 30 minutes past and I still have a five star review. All right. So do I want a Prius or minivan? I think I want the minivan so I can have more passengers. So I'm going to select that. So again, this is another decision point here in, the, in this interaction. All right. Uh, higher fees. Okay. Yep. Oh my goodness. Ooh -hoo. All right. So now I have, have all these options to choose from. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's do the phone mount. And then um, I also want to do the unlimited data. And then I'm gonna, I want, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it all. Oh my goodness. All right, 
So good, okay, so it's gonna be 156. Let's keep going here. All right, so I have a little quest that came up that I can make more money. Oh, wow, okay. So I got $100 in four hours, okay. All right, what do I want for a lunch? I'll take a burger, hopefully a Beyond Meat burger. All right, I enjoy it, cool. Alright, so as you can see, there 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 is some choice in this game, but then it, it, it kind of moves along here. Alright, I don't want to burn out too quickly, okay? Alright, let's start day two. So I'm, I'm moving and grooving here. Uh, yeah, I want a receipt. Okay, for my expenses. Okay. I still have a pretty decent rating. I'm down a little bit. Okay, financial district, uh, surge pricing. I'm not gonna chase it because it's probably not gonna be worth it. Yep, okay. All right. Ooh, I'm back up to five stars, wonderful. Okay, meet up for a birthday. Yep, sorry, I'm working. <laughs> Probably not, probably not the best decision given I've only made $25, probably not a good decision there. Okay, turn it off, all right. So as you can see, three days of work, about $400, okay. All right, I, I slept over what I wanted to sleep, all right. Yeah, I, I better, better repair that, otherwise I might get in trouble with law enforcement. All right, okay, we'll give her five stars, I appreciate her. Nice, get the excellent service badge, I dig it. It pays to be nice. All right, uh, four more rides to the $180 bonus. Ooh, look, it's it's late in the evening. After a certain time of night, you're likely to get inebriated passengers, right? So I'm gonna call it a day. All right. Okay, uh, I gotta be home by seven. Oh, wow, I killed it. All right. Ooh, and look, I'm gonna be home, home with my son, all right. All right, quest completed. Okay. Wow, okay, I'm, I, I keep on going here. And I know I'm going through it a little quickly. Let's see here. Uh, determine to finish this quest. Um, yeah, we'll start driving in the evening. Although I'm going against my own advice there about the inebriated passengers, but. Um, yeah, I'll be nice. Great. So I'm gonna keep quiet and then I'll clean it. Okay. Okay. They shouldn't have ate in my car though. <laughs> Although in and out, really great. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go home. I'm just trying to get to the end of this so you all can see it. So I'm really gonna go fast here. Yeah, let's just take the day off. Why not? Uh, spend time with my my kid. That's never a bad, never a bad day, right? All right. Don't need to do all the quests. Uh, yep, sorry, sorry, sis. Um, can't do that. I'll, I'll get in trouble. All right. Yep, she slammed my door. Not nice. Mm -mm. Well, I, I still have a very good rating. Let's see here. Uh, get out the door. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna report the incident to Uber. Oh, my account's suspended because the jerk hit my door. Not cool. All right. All right, let's see how I did. Okay, not bad. Okay, I barely made it. I think to pay my mortgage, right? Oh, rats, here we go. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. Horrible. Okay. Woo! Wow. Okay, cool. So it tells me the choices of what other players did as well, which is, is cool. All right. So that is my inspiration. And so I'm starting this up. This is Articulate Rise just to have something kind of made. And then I'm actually also going to share with you all, I'm making a graphics folder over here. So I'm showing you where I also get my graphics for everything. So I want to start here with, um, let's see, introduction. And then you have to go to blank lesson or pick something there. It's kind of annoying. I don't, I don't care, care for that. And then let's see here. Oh, before I forget our lovely book here, in case you're curious what I'm really interested in, I'm on page 55 of, of the text. I need to actually pull it up in the ebook version, but essentially I'm in table, uh, 4.1 in chapter four. And Clark has really outlined some different like learning domains here. And really my big kind of learning objective doing something like this is I'm really wanting people to consider trade-offs, right? So as you know, there was like an easy and hard version, but as you saw there were a lot of decision points in something like that. What kind of car do I rent? Do I take a day off? Uh, what kind of lunch do I have? What kind of materials do I purchase for the week? So I'm really wanting people to go through this. I, I'm really interested in this replayability factor as well, because I'd love to replay it and see what happened if I got the Prius, right? Uh, would that have made it any better? Did I buy too much of the things on, on the front end? Probably so. So again, just want to make something really, really low fidelity and show you how you can build something kind of like that. Again, it's not going to look totally like that, but here in Articulate Rise. So here's my introduction and then I'm going to go ahead and make, let's see here. Let me go back over to the Uber game and I'm basically, let's see, is it going to let me restart it? Let me just refresh here. Okay. I don't want to necessarily take their everything verbatim, but I, I do want to take inspiration for it. So I am just going to take this here just to kind of show you what this would look like. So with Rise, if you're not familiar with it, it's what I call a WYSIWYG <laughs> and that stands for what you see is what you get. So it is very, well, first of all, it's cloud-based. So as you can probably tell, I'm on a Mac. Native Storyline does not work on a Mac, but the cloud-based version of the Rise does. So I often use it and then I have a PC to run the other product storyline, but full transparency, I am reformatting my PC right now. I started it up and it did not did not like me today. So I was like, okay, change of plans. I'm gonna do gonna do this for you all. So I'm going to start here with um, I'm just gonna start with a text here. I'm just gonna kind of copy and paste this. Okay. So and I forget. Let's see. I think I called it Kara's Taxi Service. Really, really generic name. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right, can you earn, I don't know, let's see. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Of course, I'm not gonna build it as, as expansive, but if you are interested in me building more of this throughout the semester, I can. All right, so can you earn $100 in an hour, full-time, um, you're a full-time, let's see, independent, independent. I swear when you're sharing your screen, your spelling goes down 80%. It has to be hard. Okay, you're full-time independent contractor with Keras Taxi Service. Um, let's see here. And you have with uh, two spoiled dogs to support. <laughs> and you would like to take the challenge to earn uh, $100 in an hour as you are uh, getting ready to um, uh, transport passengers in 
around, I don't know, let's, let's say Metropolis during rush hour. Okay. Okay. So I changed it a little bit. Again, I took inspiration from it. This would potentially be like a portfolio piece, of course. And I know I should probably be storyboarding. I swear that I will at some point. I just, again, inspired, just wanted to kind of capture this as I'm going through the motions here. All right. So can I earn enough to uh, buy the dogs? not going to do this part and make more for other players now let's see. Okay. so you may be wondering is that something that you can build in e-learning and the answer is yes however it does take a little bit of programming so the way that i've seen folks do this is a couple of different ways um, one you can extrapolate different variables and like kind of put them back in through a system called XAPI and that stands for experience API and it's essentially a way of I don't know, it's, it's pretty much like a learning analytics language that you can write and not to get too technical but it is something that you can kind of spit in and out when you, when you need to so it is it is more of an advanced skill I'm not going to be doing that today because one I don't have a learning records system so or an LRS you may hear that talked about I, I don't have one so I couldn't do it if I want to and two uh, usually when I've written things like that I've been using articulate storyline the desktop version and because I'm on my Mac I, I can't I can't use it anyway so just keeping it simple today but I, I will tell you that that actually is possible it is within the realms of possibility if you'd like to do something like that all right so I immediately put a continue button here again taking inspiration here from this we see that it's got this with a yes so I can change this button so I go over here to edit and then I'm gonna let's see oh. <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna pick a color scheme I love blue so oh no 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 don't do that just kidding well I don't know I kind of like that in a way it's not bad and so here's here's where you get in at least me analysis paralysis and thinking about color theory and what looks good and all of that good stuff so I'm going to yeah, yeah. but if I want to change the button color this is a little silly you have to go back here and go up here to settings and then you go down to customize theme and then from here I can change accent color which I like like I said I like blue um you can change fonts you can actually upload a custom font as well if you like something like that and then I'm going to mess with this later but just to get back that's a little blue dobbity. Let me get rid of that. Let me just go back to her. Let's go back to white. Okay. I still see the outline that's going to bug me to death. But okay. I think we're good. Okay. Now, here is. I'm going to put a condition on this. So. No, I'm not. Hang tight. So I want to put so some text here and then here I'm going to put Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So see how you can't see this until you click that. I wanted that that effect to where, you know, it's kind of like a, a grand reveal because if you recall with this one, I click yes. And then that's when I get the more information. So here we go. And again, I'm just copy and pasting to have text. I am going to change it. All right, I'm going to go back to my edit button. 
All right. Okay. Let's see. say easier difficulty is a golden doodle and then harder difficulty let's see what's a harder difficulty dog let's say <laughs> German Shepherd okay and let's see here uh, let's see here you live how about in Metropolis Metropolis and have good credit uh, and then instead you live two hours away and I need just some random, random town in <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> Big difference between Metropolis and Columbus, right? Metropolis. Okay. Alright, and now that I've put that out there, another thing that kind of annoys me about, about this product is I can't, because this is a text block, see how it says paragraph with heading? I can't add anything in here, which annoys me so much. So I have a little, a cute little idea. How cute would it be to have like a little picture of a golden doodle and German Shepherd with this? So typically where I get a lot of my graphics and my vectors and all that is actually Canva. So if you're not familiar with Canva, I think that if you have an EDU email address, you might be able to get a premium subscription for free. I know that they at least did that during the beginning of the pandemic. So I have Canva open over here. And usually what I like to do is I like to just kind of play. So this was one of my ideas. So this is from Canva um, with, the, with the city. And so I have it over here in the graphics already. And usually I'll just take a screenshot of it. Um, again, I'm on a Mac, it's super easy to take a screenshot and the screenshot saves auto as, as a JPEG. Now, typically if you want to get really technical, you might want to do a PNG if you really want to manipulate everything. Now on this computer, I don't have the Adobe Creative Suite. I have the Adobe Creative Suite over here on my PC and I keep pointing like you can actually see, see over there. So if I was on my PC, I might manipulate it more. But for this, I'm not, not going to worry about it. So I have this over here, so I'm going to X this out. And then I'm over here in Elements in Canva, and I'm going to look for a golden doodle. Oh my goodness. Now how precious is that? I, now, now here's the thing though. I like to see if I can find a similar style to the German Shepherd before I pick this one, okay? So when I'm developing and thinking, I like it to kind of look look similar. So German Shepherd. See, see how I don't have, oh my goodness. This one, see how that's more realistic and this one's more cartoony. Let me see if I got a little cartoony head. Oh my goodness, did that work? No. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I just think that's adorable. That's just random. Okay. Uh, we're getting warmer. I want to keep looking. Ways to waste your time, volume 8. <laughs> but this, I mean, this is, this is what I would do if I was on the job. I'd go through this. Uh. You know what, I think we got a winner with with this one. Okay, so we have, I like to make them about the same size. A little bit hard because the, the ears are, are big. All right, let's see if I can make it the big. Okay, looks, looks pretty good. All right. And so then here is another little trick that, that I like to do. I don't like to have um, like 
backgrounds behind things I like to have like a um, transparency so here's a trick that I do and there may be better ways to do it this is just my my working process so I'm gonna this is the screenshot tool so I got that it just downloaded here and then I have a website that I go to called remove.bg and then I upload I'm gonna upload a little doggy there says German Shepherd. Boom. Someone downloaded. I'm gonna open him up here. Lord of Mercy. Okay. And then I'm gonna rename him. He is German Shepherd. Okay. I'm just gonna go back up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, German Shepherd. Where are you? There you are. I was scooting down here into this folder, so you all have them as well. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the Golden Doodle. So, there's that. Although, you know what? Let's try it one more time. Let's see if maybe there's a better, better one for the Golden Doodle. Look at this guy. I like the black outline. I like the black outline. How about I type in golden doodle vector? If you're not familiar with vector, vector just means like a drawn image pretty much. So uh, that's what that's what I mean by vector. Let's see, why on earth it, did this show up? What's that got to do with anything? Sometimes things annoy me. All right. Uh, maybe I'll click on graphic. That's it. That's it. So it's either black outline or no black outline. I, I'm gonna, gonna stick with my original. Stick with my original. Okay, and then there's that. Okay, and then we'll do the exact same thing that I did with this guy. Let me just click here. There's my golden doodle. Beautiful. Alright, downloading. I'm just gonna well, save time scooting over here. And again, I'm in this graphic folder. Whoops. Come back. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Okay. And then I'm going to rename this while I'm in here too. Because it's also like really good to name things as you're building them too. Otherwise it gets... It's a little, little sticky, especially if let's say that you maybe start the project, but then someone else takes over. Just, just be kind. Label your stuff, okay? All right. So I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna say, okay. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And a lot of times I just pop things over onto a sticky, sticky note. Of course, I don't have a sticky. Where's my stickies? Hold on, guys. There we go. Come back, Sticky. All right. Get rid of my last Sticky. All right. Stickies are your friends. I use Stickies quite a bit, even though they were not there. Go away. Go over there. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. And then there's a couple different options we can build here. So I'm going to go over here to the All Blocks. And then I'll show you some options that we have for this. So one is we could have like the little icon here with a with a description. So that could be one option. Actually, you know what? Just to show you, I'm just going to build one of these. Okay. And then we'll upload or we'll replace image. And nope, wrong folder. I think I had easy first, right? So there is the golden doodle. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, okay, and then here I am. I got my text. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually duplicate this block. But here's what I'm gonna do. I don't like that there, 
I, I like it to be stair stepped because you know, I'm thinking of the design of what I want. So I'm going to stair step it and I can go to settings here and I can actually flip it. So I'm going to flip it. So this is going to be easy. This is going to be hard. Okay. So I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to put my German Shepherd in there. All right. Okay. There's my German Shepherd. Oh, that, that's not that's not as bad as I bad as I thought. But let's see. Let's call um, hard, and then that's our German Shepherd. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and copy and paste this over. Okay, so there's the information on the German on the German Shepherd. As you can see, there's some space here, and I don't really care for that. So that is one option. Although, does anybody know what I missed? I do. I made I made a, I've made a mistake. So I'm gonna go back up here. Well, there's settings. Uh, um, I'm gonna go to edit, and then I'm gonna go to alt, alt text, because people that's using assistive technology might not know what this is. So icon uh, and illustrated golden doodle dog to symbolize. Easy mode of the game. The dog is facing forward. Yes. Forward. I, again, I promise I, I can spell. Forward is mouse open and tongue out. Okay. Um, I'll say in friendly manner. Okay. Cool. All right. And then we'll do the exact same for our German Shepherd. Say that's neutral. Okay. I mean, I can't really tell. I mean, obviously he doesn't have his tongue out, but okay. So there's that. And so now what we want to do is we want to to branch. And so before we branch, we need to tell Rise where to branch to. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to go to um, let's see here, German. Okay, let's see here. I'll say easy mode start okay and then I have to go blank again and then we'll do hard mode start okay and then I'm gonna okay so what this is gonna do I'll show you here in just a moment we're gonna go back here and we're going to branch these so to do that I'm gonna go to all blocks I'm gonna go to interactive and then we'll go down here to button stack Okay. All right. Um, I'm just gonna say. Oops. Whoops. Just wanna do a heading here. Uh, choose your game difficulty. Okay. And then we'll say easy. Okay. I'm going to. Oh. How do I make this cute? Okay, I'm gonna go. Go with the golden doodle. Okay, and then let's go for hard. Okay. I'm up for the challenge of the German Shepherd. Okay, and so now I'm gonna go over here to edit, and then I'm just gonna say. Oh, Easy uh, activated. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't like things cut off. 
And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the button where to branch to. So see how now I have a link to a lesson? That's where we're going to go. So we'll go to easy mode. And then for the German Shepherd, I'm going to say, but for the German Shepherd, and then hard mode. Okay. And And then to delete this last one, you just hit the rubbish bin. Okay, boom. So now I'd like to add like a little, little bit, you know, up here of the, um, I have the Metropolis here with the car, so I'm gonna look at it again. Let's just take a look at it. I'm just gonna see what it looks like without manipulating and adding something to it, but I'm just gonna, just going to look here. We have a couple of different options. So I am going to see what the text on the image looks like. Although I will tell you one bad thing about this, and this is naughty, naughty, naughty. If you select this, this isn't super accessible. So might not be the best idea to do. So I just talk to myself. I just talk to myself out of it. We're not going to do anything that's not accessible. Try not to. Okay. So now I'm going to upload that Metropolis. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks like it's a little stretched out. Could also be my monitor. Let's see how, let's see. Again, that, this is so funny. I, I hope I'm not annoying you all, but these are, these are things I look at, like, hmm, you know. Actually, I'm really impressed if you're still, if you're still here at this point with the, the video. All right, so let's try to center. See, that's too, it's too big. I like the, I like the other setting where it's stretched. So see how it's, maybe what we can do is something like this. How about we open up Metropolis here? Let's try something different. So I am stretching it out here. And then let's say that I am going to maybe just snip like this part and see what that looks like. Let's just try it. Might not work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. Now just for giggles, let's see. See, it's more sharp. It's more sharp. I like I like that. So I'm gonna use that and then let me make an alt text. Let's see. Graphic. Let's see here. Illustrated graphic of the city of Metropolis. With, should I call them skyscrapers? How about office buildings? buildings, um, winding, eh, I'm really gonna call them winding, let's see, uh, streets with various vehicles, although I guess they're all the same, and trees. That way they at least kind of get the gist of what it is that we, that we have here. Okay, so let's preview this. All right, so this is the intro. Okay, can I get my dog's crystal goblets to eat their dog food from? Hope so. All right, so now I get to choose my level of difficulty, Golden Doodle or German Shepherd. And then see, I have to select if I want to do Golden Doodle or German Shepherd. So if I hit that one, I'll go there. And then if I hit this one, I'll go, go there. So, all right, I think I'm gonna stop now. Uh, my other computer is needing my attention, but I at least wanted to work out loud, share this with you all, 
and hopefully this gets some of your creative juices flowing. Maybe this is helpful, maybe this is a huge distraction. I certainly don't hope it's a huge distraction, but if you find value in this, you want me to continue on building out, kind of showing you how everything fits together, let me, let me know. And excited to keep the conversation going. All right, see ya, bye.